ABU Robocon, university students from the Asia Pacific region use robots they've built to showcase their ideas and technological skills. This annual festival attracts many young engineers. India was the host for this year's contest. It all started with a vibrant dance performance. Welcome ladies and gentlemen and a very warm welcome to all our esteemed dignitaries, students and our dear audience from all across the globe and of course over here. 13 teams from 12 countries and a region participated in the contest remotely. In the early editions. We'll move on to the next theme, Anil. This year's theme is Lagori, inspired by an ancient Indian game. Two opposing teams hit balls to break down a stone tower and then build it back up. Let's take a look at the rules. Each team can use two robots, R1 and R2. They can either be autonomous or manual. Two opposing teams, called Seeker and Hitter, engage in a number of tasks. Round 1. The Seeker starts off with a Lagori break, throwing balls at the tower in the middle of the field and trying to knock it down. Teams earn 5 points for each disc that lands on the floor. If they land them all, they'll earn 25 points. Next up is the Hitter team. Their task is the ball shoot, lobbing balls at targets placed on poles at the four corners of the field. The task is over once the team has knocked down all four balls. The time they take to complete the task then becomes the time limit for the seeker team's next task. And here they go! They'll attempt to rebuild the Lagori pile in its original order. The team earns 10 points for each disc they replace, a total of 50 points if they complete the task. Now it's time for round 2. The seeker and hitter teams switch places and the game proceeds. The winner will be determined by tallying up the points earned in the Lagori break and Lagori pile. What happens during the actual game? Let's take a look at the preliminary league. 13 teams are divided into four groups and compete against each other. Here's the match between India A, Institute of Technology Nirma University and Tribhuvan University of Nepal. One team will be in red. Round one. India A plays the role of Seeker. Looks like a perfect Lagori break. But in fact, one of the discs is not in contact with the floor. No point for that one. Next, Nepal is the hitter. They managed to drop just two balls. Now, India A has just 45 seconds to pile up the Lagori discs. With their highly accurate robot arms, they managed to pull it off. Let's move on to round two. The roles of seeker and hitter are switched. India A is the hitter. They've devised a strategy for making quick, accurate shots. R2 picks up the ball, immediately passes it on to R1, who then shoots. Their goal was to minimize the amount of time their opponents would have for the next task. Opposing Team Nepal starts building its Lagori pile. They managed to pile up three discs. As a result, Nepal wins by a narrow margin, 55 to 50. 
Next, Cambodia Academy of Digital Technology versus University Technology Malaysia. Cambodia starts off strong. They quickly achieve a Lagori break, then use a stable motion to rebuild the pile. Beautiful strategy! Malaysia also puts up a good fight but struggles with the Lagori pile. Having a little bit of a problem getting there and acting on that. In the end, Cambodia wins 65 to 45. It's now time for two top ranked teams Japan's Toyohashi University of Technology versus University of Electronic Science and Technology of China. Japan achieves the Lagori break, but they make a costly mistake with the Lagori pile. China, on the other hand, completes the ball shoot in just 19 seconds, then moves on smoothly to the Lagori break. In addition, a robot equipped with deep learning quickly piles up the Lagori discs. They easily complete both tasks, achieving perfect Lagori. 12 seconds left on the clock. Fantastic performance, Team China. A perfect score of 75 points. China wins. The next two teams are the featured card of this contest. Both University of Electronic Science and Technology of China and the Chinese University of Hong Kong are former ABU Robocon champions. China achieves a smooth Lagori break, but they make a painful mistake with the Lagori pile. On the other hand, Hong Kong completes the ball shoot in just 22 seconds. And they easily achieve a perfect Lagori. They have fantastic performance. Hong Kong, always a steady performer, wins the match. Coming up next is the final challenge for the top six teams. India A and India B make a breakthrough. This semi-final match is team. In previous ABU Robocons, India rarely advanced to the final tournament. This time, fueled by host country pride, they put tremendous effort into building their robots. Although their dream of advancing to the finals have not come true, they've had good results and their performance has electrified the live audience. And at last, the final match. Indonesia's Institute of Technology Sipulu Nopember will face the Chinese University of Hong Kong. Indonesia gets off to a smooth start, but with a half-second difference, they fall short of the perfect Lagori. This is the Hong Kong team, a precise ball shoot. What a fast Lagori break! Then, with no wasted effort, they smoothly complete the Lagori pile. With a 100% perfect performance, Hong Kong wins the Grand Prix. Hong Kong team, congratulations to the Hong Kong team. This is their second Grand Prix at the AVU Robocon. Thank you and congratulations. To cap off this exciting day, the awards ceremony. The team members are bursting with joy. First runner-up is Institute Technology Sepulu Nopemper of Indonesia. Second runners-up are Team India A, Institute of Technology Nirma University and Tribuvan University of Nepal. Congratulations. The Best Idea Award goes to Mongolian University of Science and Technology. Toyohashi University of Technology of Japan takes the Best Engineering Award. The winner of the Best Design Award is Institute Technology Sepulu November of Indonesia. And the winners of the Special Awards. The Panasonic Connect Award, the Chinese University of Hong Kong. The Toyota Award, Cambodia Academy of Digital Technology. The Mabuchi Motor Award, Nako Nayak Technical College of Thailand. The Nagase Award, Tribuvan University of Nepal. The Rome Award, 
University Technology Malaysia. The NOK Award, India A Institute of Technology near my university. The Tokyo Electron Award, University of the South Pacific of Fiji. Finally, the most prestigious award of all, the ABU Robocon Award. It goes to University of Electronic Science and Technology of China. Their excellent robot technology was evaluated comprehensively. The following weekend, a friendship exchange program for participating teams is held online. Each team shares behind-the-scenes stories and their experiences in robot development. Here are some unused designs of our robots, uh, uh, such as our free gripper robot arm. The next ABU Robocon will be held in Cambodia in 2023. The robots will make flowers bloom over Angkor Wat. What will happen next year in Cambodia? Stay tuned to find out.